Hello everybody, WWJD here of the Pacific Storm Allies Gamers, bringing you another Pacific Storm Allies modding tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to use the Pacific Storm Allies Missions Editor. This is a very useful tool for the new modder and advanced modder alike to be able to create custom missions for the game Pacific Storm Allies. The reason I'm actually making this video is partially to show you how to make something, but also I've started up a new series where I'm be playing and commenting on missions that I and other modders make. So I figure by showing you how to use this, you guys can actually uh, make your own missions and send them to me and I can play them. So with that being said, let's go and get started. This is the um, main screen, as you'll see here. And it's very, very easy to use, this tool. is very straightforward. But the first thing you have to do is you are going to have to come up here to, uh, let's see, is it edit? Preferences, locate game exe. This is the first thing you're going to have to do upon installing this tool. Lo you know, install this, get it to go into your game's exe, and then once you get it there, then you'll be ready to actually make your very first mission. Alright, so let's just go ahead, and you guys did that, I've already done it. Um, let's go to edit, and then we're going to go mission specifics. We're going to want to first define the win loss conditions for the United States. I'm sorry, I uh, forgot to create a unit. As uh, you can see, you actually have to add in a unit before you can actually start off creating. So over here is where you uh, choose your ship and aircraft type. Note, this says unit alliances is USA or Japan. However, this is not quite accurate. USA would be the same as allies, Japan would be the same as the Axis. And so you can actually trade up and actually have other nations. As you can see, you have access to all the nations in the default Pacific Storm allies. So basically you choose your alliance, choose the nation, and then you're going to drag and drop onto the map. There you go. Now this unit is here. You'll see these uh, dotted arrow, dotted lines here. This is the point that it is facing. Then you have data for the unit. All this data can be changed and I'll show you this later. So we have this and so we're going to want to go to the edit mission specifics. Here you will define the win and loss conditions for your nation. And you have to define, or uh, I should say, the um, for the side, uh, United States or Japan. You should um, go ahead and define all this, and then hit apply. And then you need to make sure that you do that for both of the uh, USA and Japan. After you do that, you're going to need to choose your map and environment, fill in all the information as you see fit. Again, it's very straightforward. So just go and fill it in, and then hit uh, apply. You can see here it always ha it has uh, default environments that you can use. These are all from the game. So you can, you can choose whichever one you want. Hit apply. Very simple there. So again, that's how you place units though. Is you choose what nation, you drag them onto the onto the map. And by using this, you actually have a huge amount of options that you can do. It's totally customizable. You can change their heading, their speed, uh, the class, etc. Um, something else though, this tool is very powerful in the fact that you can do basic things like that, but also you can go to the scripting. Oh yes, I have uh, not defined it. Um, I'm sorry, you, but you can go to scripting and it gives you this whole console to uh, laying out a script. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up one of my own missions that I have made and actually show you everything from there. So Okay, so yeah. here's a mission that I have made. This is a very simple Hood versus Bismarck mission, or a remake that I made of this mission. Alright, so as you can see, I have placed the King George and Hood up here with the Navrick and Bismarck here. And what I've done is I have defined all of the paths, as you can see by these dotted lines. Now these solid red and blue lines are the camera paths when you open up and start the game. Now for you, for you guys, you can go to help, and this gives you all the hotkeys and shows you how to do all the uh, defining of the paths and all of the uh, uh, camera movements. So really, I'm just have to, I'll just tell you what you need to do, and then from there you can go to the help and figure out the keybinds. But you will need to define the uh, camera paths before you can even save this mission. This is a mandatory thing to have. All right, now the paths do not, you can actually manually define them or you can leave them up to the computer. For me, I was basing this off of a real historical mission, so I put in um, real paths to use. So that's basically how all that works out. As I said, you can go into scripting and it gives you this uh, custom mission scripts and you can use this template and script to uh, add in some new Lua scripts to your mission. You can get very, very complex with your scripts using this. You can even come in your uh, generated code, command templates. Uh, yes, here you go. Here are your command templates you can use. All these are the things you can actually use 
then here's your custom script and what you actually generate when you save it. Um, very helpful, but I would recommend that you make some very simple missions first before you start really looking into all the scripting. You don't need to use the scripting. The script you do not need it to US make a custom script for the game to actually run this mission. So you have all that, you have your help, uh, you find your cameras, and you can adjust your paths there. You can make adjustments to your maps, all that's good. But you can also um, take your unit, you can right click it, you can rename it, and reset, you know, its path, lock, how, you know, how the AI path is locked. Um, its speed, it starts at, and when you can get into aircraft, you can choose their loadouts, you can choose aircraft carrier formations, you can get very specific when you do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more detail for each individual ship, and let's go to uh, values. So we have the hood selected, and we have the values here. What you do is you basically change the values for each of these over here, hit the enable paste for the selected value, which can be all or none, then you just simply hit control V, control C, and copy it in. Very simple, and that applies all these new values to that unit. And these are the modifications 1 and modifications 2. And this changes the modifications to the entire mission, like uh, units are self-damaging, aka I would believe that to be collisions, um, USA hold fire, Japan hold fire, ground units hold fire, mission status default, allow auto landings, all that. You can also come here and change the aggressiveness and the experience values for the mission. You also have your info where you can choose which unit you have, and you can see the individual points you sent to the screen on that unit. It'll also give you the information here. So it's a very simple tool, but it's become very powerful. You can also see uh, over here it gives you the XYZ coordinates on where you are on the map, so you can do uh, defining very specifics here. You can also see that you can choose map sizes. And as I think I showed you before, you can choose the map size, map scale, and everything, but uh, in the preference, uh, I'm sorry, mission specifics, you can actually choose your map here. You can go to map, here are all the Pacific Storm uh, maps that you can choose from. Very nice to have. Let's go and close that. Uh, let's see, yes, here's where you can, you can go to edit, and you can edit all the uh, paths, and you can edit all of the uh, carrier units, the OE modifications, prototypes, and specifics that way. Let's see, what is under tools? Yes, you can build your own formations using the tools. I have to select a unit. Select unit, formation builder, and as you can see, you basically can click, and it will to build up your formation. So now a formation like this then you basically generate all map and it makes the formation. Uh, this is really, really nice tool to have so you don't have to manually place everything in there. You can choose your unit types, your spacing, your countries, and such. Very nice thing to have. You have your environment builder. You can actually build your own custom environment for the game. And not only can you actually use these environments for your custom mission, but you can actually take these environments and apply them to the game itself by taking out the uh, ENV, ENV or I think it's ENV files, and actually renaming them and applying them to the game. That's kind of more advanced, but it's a very th nice thing to have in this tool. Another thing you also get with this tool is you get a uh, file explorer. You can actually open up and edit all of the um, XML files in this game. You, uh, it comes with the attrconverter.exe. allows you to convert all of the, uh, all of the um, XML files so you can edit them. You also get your data converter allows you to convert from uh, knots, uh, miles per hour, kilometers per hour. And this basically does all the in-game calculations so you know exactly how fast things are going. So it's a very, very nice tool. You also have your about. Uh, this is made by Time Traveler. And let's see, program icon and testing by Kilo Alpha 4, Lessa Studios, uh, file conversion routines. So there you go. That's how, uh, that's who made it. You get your information here. You'll get the link to PS Mod's website. Unfortunately, this website has been closed for some time now. Um, that is highly unfortunate, but uh, we still have this very nice tool from 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 them. So that's that's all that is. Um, then, when you're done building your mission, you go to File, and you go to Test. You can go to Test, and I like to test it before I save it, just to make sure everything's running properly. Then you want to. There are several options when you save. You want to go to. You can choose save map missions to a folder and to the game, to just the folder or just a uh, map file. As I said, you can make custom um, environments and maps. That's what that is. That's just the map. Um, 
let's see, then save it as a dot mission into the dot or uh, dash missions folder. Just saves everything into a folder that you can put in your mods folder. If you install it to the uh, mods folder and to the game, this basically sets your game up so that it will always read this. However, it's unfortunately it, if you do that, it's harder to, for you to run custom missions from other people. So I would recommend if you're going to save it for you to use and for others to use, please only use the save mission files to dash missions folders or folder. Also under file, by the way, is where you can change your OE modifications for the uh, mission units. So basically, that's how you, how all this works. It's a very nice tool, and it's extremely powerful, but at the same time, it's also pretty simplistic. So thank you guys for watching this modding tutorial. I hope that you guys will make a lot more missions for the uh, community and uh, shoot me some. If you want to go and see uh, the uh, first video on the uh, custom missions, that's already up on the uh, YouTube right now. And at the bottom of the description shows you all the information on how to send it to me, your custom mission to me, so that I can make a video out of it. So that's going to be awesome. I hope to uh, see a lot of missions from you guys. I would love to do them. I think this will be a fun little uh, thing to do on YouTube. Um, I'll make sure in the description below to leave a link to where you guys can download and install this tool. And I'll also leave a link to the Pacific Storm Allies Steam group. So that if you guys are not already a member there, you can join us and join us in the community there and uh, work with us. So thank you. I'll see you here, there, or in the air.